Hi, everyone. Good evening. Sorry about that. Sorry. I know you were here, but I had a problem with the microphone. Uh, so good that evening. is why. <laughs> Hi, good evening, Carlos. So I'm sorry that I had to log you out, but welcome. Nice to see you here. Did you go to La Chadura today, Carlos? Yes. You had. Do you always go? Do you Excuse go? Excuse me. Do you go every day? Every every. Can Um. The Monday on, on Friday, or Friday. Mondays, Mondays and Fridays, or from ¿Cuál Monday es, to Friday. ¿cuál es, ¿Cuál es la palabra para decir días de semana? Weekend, week, weekdays. Weekdays, weekdays. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. okay. Weekends off. Yes, weekend oh. off. Okay, that's nice. Well. Um, before we continue, I will take the attendance and then we, we can continue. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Lilia. Present. Carlos Antonio. Present. Brian Javier. Elizabeth Martinez. Arnoldo Mazariego. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Galileo. Jose Jonathan. Present. Okay. Rodrigo Hernandez. Juan Carlos Rivas. Laura Carolina. María Concepción. María Elena. Mayra Moreno. Nelson, Nelson Gavarrete. Ajir, Miss. Okay. Omar Francisco. Oscar Arnulfo. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Wendy. Wendy Zabaleta. Present teacher. And Jenny, Jenny Santos. Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Okay. okay, thank you. So let's let's begin. In this activity, <laughs> we will be using some people to draw. Okay, you have to use the whiteboard to draw. Vamos a utilizar la pizarra para dibujar. And we will have, okay, two people to begin with. Okay, so Carlos and Ana. Can you activate the annotation tool? Pueden activar su, su opción de anotar. Carlos and Anna, please. Do you remember how to activate it? No. Eh, hay una opción en la parte superior, Carlos, donde dice más opciones. Y dice anotaciones. O anotar. Ya, yeah, Ok. So it's easy. You have to draw different, um, different people. Tienen que dibujar diferentes personas. We're going to start with me. Ok. So you have to draw the teacher. And later we will vote to see who, which, which painting is more similar to me. Luego vamos a votar para ver qué, qué painting, qué dibujo se acerca más a mí. Ok, so Carlos and Ana, okay. are you ready? Ok, so go ahead. Um, hold on. Okay. You will have around one minute. Ok, so draw what you can in one minute. Yeah, teacher. Yes, yes, you can start. You can start now. <laughs> the 
creo que me va a ganar él. Eh, It's Ana. okay. Okay, 30 more seconds. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, five, five more no, no, seconds. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. Okay, so you can stop. Thank you, Carlos and Ana. So, Nelson, what do you think? Yo, yo, Which... yo voto por Ana. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, it was worth the try. I like the glasses. There are my glasses and the hair. It's green. It's green, right? Anna, oh. my hair is green in this moment. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now let's continue. Lily, Lily and Elena. Elena, can you activate the drawing tool, the annotation tool, and Lily too? <laughs> can you activate that? Do you know how to activate it? Si saben cómo, cómo se activa. No, en la parte superior, Lili, hay un menú que dice ver más opciones, donde salen tres puntitos. No estoy segura, pero dice bolígrafo, flecha, color. Uy. Dice algo, anotación. Anotaciones. No. no Anotar. Creo. Pero puedo crear. Ahí está. No. Ajá. Ajá. Ok. And Lily, ready? Ya. Yeah. Ok. You have to draw Michael Jackson. Lena and Lily van a dibujar a Michael Jackson in one, one minute. Ready? Ok. You have one. Ok. You have one minute. <laughs> We will wait a moment while they draw Michael Jackson. Remember, you can change the colors. Ahí les da la opción para cambiar el color de, de su marker or pen, pencil. So we will see Michael Jackson okay, in one moment. Have you finished, Elena? No. You're going to modify the body. Okay. You have 30, 30 more seconds.
Okay, <laughs> time's up, but thank you. So, Lily, you erased it, right? Lily lo volvió a hacer. No, no la convencí a Lily. That is why you try again. And Elena, very interesting, very interesting <laughs> drawing. Thank you, Elena. Thank you both for trying. It's, it's a little bit difficult, I know. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to the class. We will continue learning, learning about restaurants and other words, well, other grammatical expressions. So we will start. Okay, Saira. Uh, one moment, I'm going to share the book. Page 19, page 19 in this moment. And we will continue talking about procedures, Saira, we have a question in the book. The question is, what steps do you follow in your everyday work? Do you understand the question, Saira? Okay, teacher. Do you understand the question? Entiende la pregunta. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. uh, first, receive the, receive the tour, turno? The shift. Of or co what do you mean? Ah, okay. So you receive maybe the responsibilities. Responsibilities. The responsibility of the hotel. Uh, my co-worker the second contar count count the money count the money ah, okay. of sell in the night mm -hmm. uh, tears check the the product for the breakfast elaboration mm -hmm. um, all co-worker you um, you you areas okay there are many things you check the areas uh -huh, where they work. Okay, Saira, thank you for telling us a little bit about your routine. And what about you, Arnoldo? What steps do you follow in your everyday work? Like things you always have to follow. And the first step is uh, check the... Mm, the, invent the inventory mm -hmm. and refill the estantes. What kind of containers are uh, we talking about? Or if you want to, you uh, can go with containers. I don't know the okay. type of containers. Refill the, refill the containers uh, of paint. Mm -hmm. um, after prepare the the painting machines the, the dispensers and clean the the work area preparing the 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 work orders for for sales and finally, the stars, the, the cells, and attend the client. Okay, thank you, Arnoldo. Question number two, let's begin with Galileo. So Galileo, in, in your case, what happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? What happens with this employee? Actually, it's frequently. Every day in my job, uh, if the 
if the employee are, if the employee is at the office, I call to my office and talk about the issues. And I ask him uh, what's happened about the pro procedure. Um, I try to to let him know, let him to know mm -hmm. uh, what is the reason why he must follow the procedure. Mm -hmm. And I try to to make a, a conscience, conscience to create nature, right? awareness. To yeah. try to create awareness. Yeah, and the and the important the procedure is, and mm -hmm. I I uh, often I just talk with they, but if they don't care, my my consejo. Advice or suggestion. My, my advice or suggestion. I I make a warning. A warning. Warning. I make uh -huh. a warning and he sign it. Mm -hmm. So it there is a procedure, right? First you talk to him. Next warning and later. There is another penalty, I imagine, if yeah, that behavior that's, continues. That's right. Okay. Thank you, Galileo. Let's see. Eli, are you there, Eli? What happens in your company? What is the procedure for a person mm -hmm. who doesn't obey the rules, who doesn't follow procedures? What do they do in your company? In, in fair. First is as well answer the the form. Make a cons my make a document for my yo my boss and check the email. Prepare material for the Sorry. teachers. Eli, one moment. Eso es lo que pasa cuando alguien no obedece la, los procesos. O oh, no sé si me hablaba ah, de la pregunta uno. No, este, yo ah. aprendí mal. Yo pensé que me decía ah, que okay. el procedimiento es así. No, uh -huh. ¿Qué pasa cuando un employee no sigue los procedimientos en your company? Algo uh -huh. que ya tienen como reglas about the procedure. Depend, depend, teacher. For I, I work with teacher, and then uh -huh. they always have proceedings. What happens when they don't follow it? ¿Qué pasa cuando no no los siguen? Nunca he estado allí cuando alguien no lo siga, pero... Ah, ok. You don't, you don't really know. Ajá. No, ah. me imagino. Ay, ma me imagino que hay una acción de personal. I Ajá. imagine. But I, I think any action. Any actions. Uh -huh. Personal action. A personal action. Ok. Ok, Eli. Thank you. Jonathan, can you help us with that question? What happens in, in your case? In my case, uh -huh. uh, well, I don't know what happened because I don't um, say in, in experience, but I think that uh, the first um, uh, um, Llamado atención sería un call, call attention. 
Mm, yes, maybe it could be like an oral oral warning or a verbal warning. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, then um, I think uh, first uh, amonestation amonestation verbal. Then uh -huh. uh, uh, amonestation writing. You can write. use warning. The word warning. Uh -huh. Warning. Written, uh, written warning. Written warning, okay. Then reading warning. Uh, finally, I think is um como despedido. Como... Ah, okay. He gets fired. Okay. He or she gets Fire. Fire. Mm -hmm. That is the last. Mm -hmm. I imagine the same. That is the, the usual usual way it goes. Okay. Do you want to add something else? Or is that it, Jonathan? Yeah, only. only Just that. Okay, Jonathan. Yes. Thank you. In this moment, we are not going to read this. We will go here in this moment, page 20. Um, just give me one moment. Oscar, Oscar, usted es el que va driving, creo, ¿verdad? Porque solo tengo un número de teléfono y lo tengo que cambiar. Es Oscar, no veo bien. Sí, sí. ah, ok. Yes. Hi, Oscar, le voy a cambiar el nombre porque tengo que tener acá su nombre. Ok. Ahí Perfecto. estamos. Ya. Ok, you're welcome. Ok, sorry. So let's, let's continue. We're going to study how to use this. Adverbs and transition expressions. Or in other words, we're going to study how to use the words you see here. Ok, so in simple words, expressions to show sequence, okay? That is what we're going to study, how to express or how to show sequence when you speak. And, okay, yes, yes I did, Galileo. I, I completely understood. Okay, so Thanks. we will talk, uh -huh, you're welcome. We will talk about some words you can use when you show, when you want to indicate sequence. Vamos a ver algunas expresiones que ustedes pueden utilizar. Aunque ya las estuvieron utilizando, vamos a ver más okay, expressions to connect, to connect ideas. Okay, to give the first idea, you can use this. Number one, first, right? Zaira, Seret, I think Eli, too. Creo que Zaira, ¿verdad? Y Eli las utilizaron. Jonathan, too. First, ¿verdad? Another option to continue. You can use second. This is another option to continue. Second. Or there are more. There are more options. Next. Later. After that, afterwards, then, later. Those are options you have to continue, to continue with the sequence. Todas estas son como sinónimos, ¿verdad? Que pueden utilizar para seguir contando una historia en orden de sucesos. Tal vez se pregunten cuál es la diferencia entre after y afterwards. Ahorita se los digo, after and afterwards. Afterwards, it means immediately after. Immediately after. It gives emphasis that that activity is going to happen right away. And after doesn't give that emphasis. Okay, that is the difference. It's very similar, but afterwards give more emphasis. Estas son bien parecidas. La única diferencia es que afterwards como que da más énfasis a que algo va a pasar rápidamente luego de un suceso. Okay, so that is the, the way it works. 
And then to finalize your idea, you can use finally, that could be an option. Um, in the end, or last, those are different options. Usually we use a comma, okay? We use a comma after the word, second comma, and then you continue the idea. For example, I'm going to tell you about my daily routine. First, I wake up in the morning. I want to continue, I need connectors. And then I can say, okay, next, I take a shower. If you want to continue, you can use more connectors. Uh, later, I take my breakfast. Okay, as an example, and then you continue. Okay, entonces, estas palabritas, sorry, do you have a question in this moment? Yes. Yes, Me? Ali. Mm -hmm. in, in, in the, I wake, I wake a shower. No, it's I take, oh, I take yes. a shower. <laughs> sorry, yes. Thank you. Let me fix it. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. I didn't see it. Okay, so what I wanted to tell you is that you can use these connectors to connect your ideas and to give sequence, okay? To talk about the process that you have. Entonces, pueden utilizar esas palabras para conectar y hay diferentes, ¿verdad? Para que no utilicemos siempre la misma. Later this, later I take a shower, later I eat. You Entonces, can... casi Ajá. lo mismo significan cada uno. Sí, ajá. o sea, literal, literalmente no, literalmente no, pero se pueden utilizar de esa manera, porque second es como segundo, ¿verdad? En segundo lugar, pero next es como siguiente. Entonces, todas estas se pueden utilizar así. Ajá. Solo after y after. El word es como, ah, ahí, ahí puso, como ajá. inmediatamente después. Yes, I will give you an example. Um, Okay, let me think about something. Um, let's imagine that this. Let's let's go to the movies. Let's go to the movies. Afterwards, afterwards, let's grab some fourth okay so what am i saying after the movie immediately after that let's eat let's get some food that is what i'm trying to say but if you want to you can use after if you want to you can say let's go to the movies uh, after that let's grab some food if you wish, because they kind of transmit the same meaning. Okay, so there you have an idea about how to use it. Do you have questions about the words? Mm, no, no questions? Okay. Not for the moment. No, no. Okay, so let's try to use them. Let's try to use them a little bit. Can you create a little, a little paragraph using them, using these expressions or words, and tell me about your routine on Saturdays? Tell me a little bit about the things you do on Saturdays. Okay. A little paragraph, and remember, show me the sequence. First, I wake up. Next, and you continue. Try to use at least four. Díganme un poquito de lo que hacen los sábados, ¿verdad? 
Recuerden mostrar la secuencia, usar conectores y utilicen por lo menos four. Four connectors. And then you can, some of you will read it and others will send it in the chat. Vamos a tener la oportunidad de, de oír algunos y otros me lo mandan en el chat. And I'm going to read it. Just one important uh, comment, algo importante. Recuerden que necesitan poner siempre el subject, ¿ok? No, no lo olviden que tenemos que ponerlo. Es obligatory. En inglés sí es, es obligatorio utilizar el subject. Cada vez, like the way you see it here. First, I wake up. Next, I take a shower. Ajá. Uh -huh. so, okay. Yes, Saturday, but Sunday. Sunday could work. Okay. Hello. Hi, Jonathan. Have you Me? finished? Sorry, no, no escuchaba nada. Se me había perdido el audio. Ah, no sé, ah ok. No you, sé qué, cuáles, cuáles eran las indicaciones. You have to create a little paragraph, Jonathan, about the things you do on Saturdays. And use at least four connectors. Tell me about your Saturdays. Your common routine, your regular routine, and use connectors, at least four of them. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.
Has anybody finished? Teacher, I send on WhatsApp on private, ah, on private. Can you read it? Can you read it, Arnoldo, for your classmates? Every Saturday, first I wake up at 5 a.m. And next I go to the pool and swim around one hour. Afterwards, I go to my home and take a shower. Then I dress up and take my breakfast. Later, I go to my work from 8 a.m. to 12 o'clock. Finally, I go to my house, take my lunch with my family. In the end, I relax or play for two hours or watch TV series on Netflix. Thank you. Uh -huh. It is correct. Maybe the just like two observations. Uh, number one, try try to use commas. Try to use commas after the, the connectors, like first, comma, and then you continue the idea. And where it says, I, it says, I'm going to my work. You say, you have to say later, I go to work because you're talking about regular activities. Don't use future tense, only I, present tense. In my script, in my teacher, in my script, I, I have commas. Ah, okay, so I don't see them here. Entonces creo que no logro, aunque lo acerco, I don't see. Luego the first, no, no veo ni afterwards, ni later, pero creo que entonces acá. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, y, yes, yes, pero I, I... But you have them. I, okay. Okay, so that's, that's cool. And the other part, en vez de poner I'm going to, ponga I go to, porque es como una regular routine, así que no necesita future tense. Y I donde dice, ajá, uh -huh. I relax. You can say, I, maybe you can say, I chill, I chill out, chill out. Because relax, tiene, es un adjective. I'm, I'm relaxed, pero lo está usando como un verb. Así que mejor utilice chill, I chill out, or I calm down. That could be another possibility. It's a meaning. Hmm? It's a meaning. A it's synonym. A mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you. We will listen to Don't four. You're welcome. Four more paragraphs. Can you read yours, Lily? Your paragraph, please. Um. On Saturday, first I I get I get up the I have break break from Fast. the mm -hmm. then I take a shower and the I start cleaning my house the next. Thank you, Lily. Good job. At the end, in the last part. You can say, and next I cook. In the last part, in next I cook. Just that little change. Okay, let's continue. Jenny, have you finished? Do you have your paragraph, Jenny? Una uh, parte, sí, que vengo llegando, pero sí. Ah, okay. Ajá. Lo que tengo. Ajá. The yes. Saturdays I get up. The Saturdays I get up early to go at work. When I write, the first step is check my email. And next, I review the inventory. Y solo eso había hecho. Ah, ok, Jenny. That's all right. Just one comment. When you talk about days, use on. Utilice on en vez de de. On, on Saturdays. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. On Saturdays. Okay. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Let's see. Laura, are you ready? Yes. Can you read your paragraph, please? Yeah. 
En el cuaderno, teacher, la escribo. Ajá. Read your paragraph. That's a good one. Ah, read, ok. First, I wake up in the, in the, ay no, espérame, eso es lo que escribí de la pizarra. <laughs> On Saturday, okay. my time routine is, first, I brush my teeth, second, I take a shower, after, mm -hmm. I comb my hair, after work, I wake up my face, before, I put on clothes, uh, later, I prepare a breakfast, Last, I wash, wash, wash up the clothes. Hasta ahí llegué. You wash clothes. <laughs> okay, very well, Laura. Laura congratulations. Solo es wash. Wash. Wash my clothes. Or my do wash. the laundry. This is another option. Okay. I do the laundry. But congratulations. Ya no, ya no, ya no hice más paso. <laughs> no, Solo hasta que, se pasó. Eh, eran four at least, sí. era mínimo cuatro y ah, yo ahí como six. Ya. Yo, yo iba a consecuencia, así, secuencialmente, Perfecto, después de perfect. tomar una fiesta, ver televisión, <laughs> ir a almorzar. <laughs> ok, but yes, you're going okay. well. Y su, y su okay. simple present, guys, ha mejorado bastante. Ahí están los verbos, ah, como debe y, de ser. Y, El es, subject. Estuvo inventando. <risa> es sí, que estas oraciones eso... están más, más fáciles, teacher. <risa> ok, pero ajá, vamos mejorando. Ok, Nelson, okay, can you good. read your, your paragraph, please? Hello, ahí la envié al grupo, pues se la puedo leer, mis. Ajá, please. Ok, on Sunday first, let's is go to the family, to the paro. After that, let's eat to dinner. Finally, let's eat uh, to visit family. Thank you, Nelson. I appreciate your effort. Solo le voy a dar un poquito de feedback. Cuando creamos las okay. oraciones, al principio o luego del conector, first, usted debe de poner oh. un subject. Estaba viendo de que no lo ha colocado. Podría ser first, I go to the park. El sujeto I, ¿verdad? Yo, Nelson, I. Ah, y luego yo, el verbo. Ah, okay. I go to the park. Porque la, la regla dice subject, verb y luego complement. Y ese es el patrón que seguimos so, luego de cada eh, eh, sequence so word. Verbo y complemento. Entonces así, ajá, debería de ir. Okay. I go to the park with ah, okay. my family. After that, I eat dinner with my family. Oh, okay. Finally, I visit my family. Uh -huh. oh, okay, Por ahí. thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Guys, I will continue checking yours. Okay, please send them. Y los que no los he visto, I will read them and I will give you feedback. Okay, you can send it here or by WhatsApp. And I will check them to see how you're doing. But I, I see that most of them look, look great. Okay, so in the meantime, we will work on this. I sent this um, by WhatsApp in the group. That is what we will be doing in, in groups, in, in breakup rooms. Part number one, you have to number the pictures. And later, you have to Describe the process. It's about making milk. That is the, the final project, milk. Entonces tienen ahí las pictures. Ustedes van a ver qué va primero, segundo, later. Y luego van a crear las sentences, ¿verdad? Based on the pictures. Si primero se hace la leche, ahí van a poner first, bla, 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 bla. Second, y ahí van a, a tener a total of five sentences. Un total de cinco, ¿verdad? Oraciones. And number two, write food that is made from milk. Everything you can think of. Food that is made from milk. That is what you have to do. Do you have questions about these two parts? In, in the teacher, I have a mm -hmm. question. The food is, for example, cheese. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Okay. Thank you. Ah, correct. Okay. Anybody else? More questions? 
No, it's clear. Okay, we will work in groups of three. So, okay, let me see. Okay, I will send you the invite in the next second. You should see it now. Miss? Mm -hmm. I yes, can Jonathan. send my, my routine on WhatsApp. Yes, you can. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. que me mandó en el doc 8 o en o como imagen me mandó um, hello yes es el d8 mm -hmm. that's the document. el de la imagen es teacher ah el primero que envié porque mandé una picture y mandé un document ah, okay. in this the moment entonces el documento so, guys do you have doubts no sé si les ha quedado alguna duda sobre la clase hasta ahorita sobre la gramática no. Billy, you're fine. Rodrigo, what about you? Fine, teacher. No problem. You're fine. Can you see? Uh -huh. There it is. Okay, sir. And Rodrigo, Number have three. you... Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Rodrigo, have you sent your paragraph? Ya envió su paragraph, Rodrigo, porque no lo uh, no. veo. No, oh, okay, no. ahorita se lo envío. Sí, tiene razón. Y Jonathan Yo todavía lista, no, ¿verdad? Yo yes. se envió ya, ya aparece ya en WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Aparece en WhatsApp, yes. Ah, el que, el que está en el grupo es Jonathan. El de sí. My Common Routine. Yes. Ah, ah, el mío. ah, ah ya. Era okay. personal suyo o al chat. No, 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 ahí está bien. Ahorita lo leo. But you can continue. Ok. Ok. Veamos. It is perfect, Jonathan. Thank you. Maybe lo único que le podría decir es que luego de finally, ahí podríamos poner la coma after that. Pero ah, creo que fue un que se le fue porque sí, todos los demás lo llevan. Sí, ya, uh -huh. ya, había, ya, había, ya le había entendido que se usa la coma luego de cada Ajá. conector. Correcto. Sí, pero pero sí, está súper bien. Cabal, el verbo está correcto. La subject, todo. Ok. Oh. Solo tenía una duda si podía usar I am going to visit. Second or middle day, I am going to visit. It depends. Es que si usted me habla como rutina, 
es solo simple present, pero si usted me va a hablar de específicamente este sábado, ahí sí tiene que hablarme en futuro. Entonces depende de cómo lo vaya a decir. Okay. Si siempre lo, okay. si es regular routine, no, todo va a ir siempre como igual. Yeah, I'm, yeah, because it's a regular routine, um, I go ah, to visit. Uh -huh. I go to, okay. to visit my mom. My Sin mom. el to. I, I visit, podría ponerle mejor, I visit my mom to take lunch. Okay. El go siento que lo puede eliminar. Okay. Uh -huh. y, y el último igual. Finally. I play basketball. Siento que también puede eliminar el go. Pero okay. si no lo deja. I go to play basketball. Ok, sorry to interrupt. I will let you continue. And, ok. Continue. I will go in a moment. Oh, just one more comment. Jonathan. Uh, bueno, déjeme ver si se va a quedar Arnoldo, porque si no le tocaría a usted su private session. Voy a ver si él, porque él cambió con Carlos. Voy a revisar y si no vuelvo y le, le pregunto si se puede, puede okay. quedar. Ok, miss. All right. Hoy sí, hoy sí ya me voy. Ok, goodbye. Que llegue, la reciben. Okay. Okay. Marcela, la proceso. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. Do you need help? Hi. Uh, eh. Yes, we have a question. Uh -huh. What is the question? We are discussing about the factory. The factory mm -hmm. is a, a place where take some a lot or, or a lot process to transform raw material. Raw material. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So we, we can say factory like a general process. Because I don't understand. What do you mean okay. when you say a general <laughs> process? Teacher, no, no tenemos la, no tenemos la, 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 la imagen, pero realmente era el proceso. La vaca come, la vaca es ordeñada, se traslada la leche. Y antes de ser procesada y convertirse en productos, había un paso más, pero no, no, no me recuerdo que estaba. Chip, ¿Por, chip, ¿Por qué no tiene la picture? No la recibieron ahí en el grupo. Usted la envió, Es el que dice la envió. D8. Ajá, el que dice D8. Esa es la picture. Es el document. Sorry. Quiero ver, quiero ver. No tengo. Lo voy a señalar, ahí está. ¿A dónde le envió? Here. Ahí ahorita eh, lo acabo de poner. Teacher, I am looking it. I am looking that. Ajá. Can you see it? Yes, that's the document. First of all, the cow, Arnoldo, have no knowledge about farmers. Ah, ah okay. Ah, this, ah, this. Este lo mandó antes de la clase, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí, yo venía, todavía no había llegado a la casa y oí que son un... Ok, entonces okay. después de que, está, de que ha sido trasladada a la empacadora, entonces Ajá. ahí es donde se, se manufactura y se transforma en los productos. Ya. Yeah, are... uh, Entonces... No. No cuestión. Okay. It's a fact. Yes. yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. But yes, okay. uh -huh. Later... you can put it the way you you imagine it works. Uh -huh. give, give me the present the way it is. Mm, the cow first and remember the subject first a person feeds the cow so the cow uh, so is it so galileo de, de que significa o como de seco o de next el so uh, eh, no. uh, es como this... de next Second. Ah, ok. Second. First, a person ahí... feed the cow. Second, the cow is eating. Yes. Okay. Is it the cow is eating? Mm. Ok. Eh... La primera es que alimentan a la vaca, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que queremos yeah. decir. 
Y the el cow, segundo. The cow eats, eats fresh grass. Ah, el... ah, así quedaría. Seca. Porque siento yes. que el paso primero y el paso segundo se parecen porque es como que la, la vaca yeah. come, ¿verdad? No. Y el otro eh, es que le da comida. Here are a mistake, my bad. The cow is milked. La I, vaca es ordeñada. I, I type two ideas. Mm. But mm. this is the correct. Pero ahí so, donde dice second y después le ha puesto next, como que es lo mismo. Sí. Yo ahorita oh, lo está. I, I have a mistake because <laughs> okay. I think the idea and write down and after I, I uh, it's okay. Don't ideas, worry. but I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Arnoldo, one question are you going to say tonight? I'm okay. You, be able to, you will. Okay. I, I wanted to double check on that. Okay, but this continue. <laughs> Okay, you can continue. I will just be here a moment. Okay, Noldo. Okay. I have the experience about it. Los derivados lácteos son transportados al supermercado. Sí, es lo último factory. que está ahí. The factory. Vale. The, el número tres es The meal is cheaper to the packaging factory. Mm -hmm. Este lo teníamos como trepa. The milk is shipped to the factory to... Mm -hmm. And finally... Light, no, later, milk is processed to make daily derivates. I'm sorry, repeat, please. Milk is processed mm -hmm. to make daily derivates. La leche es procesada para hacer derivados diarios, derivados lácteos. Mm. Ok. Ese es el número 4. Y finally. Ok, luego lo pongo, ¿sí? Dairy products are transported.
Hello, I brought you back because I have to take the attendance. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that in this moment. Okay, so Anna, Anna Beatriz. Present. Present. Thank you. Hold on. I lost the, okay. Anna Lilian. Present. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Eli. Present, present teacher. Then Jose Arnoldo. Jose Leo. Present, Miss Evelyn. Jonathan Vigil. Present. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Laura Carolina. Present. María Concepción. María Elena. Present. Mayra, ok. Mayra Moreno. Nelson Gabarrete. Omar Present. Francisco. Ok, Nelson. Omar Francisco. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Okay. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Okay. Present. And have you finished? Have you finished the, the activity, guys? Or do you need more time with your partners? Yes, my group finished. Your group finished. Yes. And you guys? We are ready, teacher. You're ready too. Okay. And the others ready? So, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready, okay. teacher. I have a question. I have a Tell question in, in the number two activity. Uh -huh. Solo los productos solo iban a ser de comida o, por ejemplo, paletas y chamucas. Eso se hace de leche también. De leche. Ah. No, you could add that lollipops because yeah, it's true. They are coming from milk, right? So I guess. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. So let's talk about the picture. Okay, so here we have the picture. Let's begin then with Wendy's group. Okay, Wendy, what is the order in, in your case for the pictures? Sorry, the order. Uh-huh. Um, first, first, the cone is grass. Uh-huh. Uh, second, milking cow. A person, a person milk the cow. Milk mm -hmm. the cow. Mm -hmm. uh, next, process the milk. Mm -hmm. Later, shipment at door. Okay. And finally, we have on the table meat, butter, cheese, and ice cream. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Good job. Quizás lo único es que hubieron como dos que no llevaban subject, solo el verbo. Así que hay que agregarle un sujeto. Que ah, como que the employees a or person people. Milking uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, ¿Cuál otro? La que va después Process de esa. Process the milk. Esa no lleva subject. Okay. Someone y, podría pero que ponerlo. Como, ¿Cómo se procesa? Mm. Hay que poner como, como un sujeto. Que hicimos, se procesa la leche. O la leche es procesada. Ajá. Eso se llama passive voice. Cuando uno habla de la actividad y de último menciona al sujeto. Porque uno no conoce, ¿verdad? Quién lo hace. 
Pero si fuera así, entonces uh -huh. tendríamos que utilizar otro tipo de como gramática y siempre lleva un sujeto que sería milk is processed y luego ya menciona dónde, ¿verdad? Milk sería el sujeto. Pero como es passive voice, creo que lo vieron como en basic three. I don't remember well, pero que se le da vuelta a la oración. Podemos, podemos estudiar eso un poquito y les recuerdo. Pero ajá, necesita algo uh -huh. antes del verb, Wendy. Hay que poner algo antes uh, del verb. Okay. Y en la siguiente, the same, la que uh -huh. va luego de esa, no llevaba También, subject. También, porque ajá. solo era shipment a tutor. Ajá, entonces hay que ponerle milk is shipped. To the no. supermarkets. Milk is shipment, shipped. shipment at supermarket. Shipped. Ahí lo mandé en el chat. Es shipped. un poquito shipped. distinto. Shipped. Oh, shipped. Uh -huh. Ok. Shipped. shipped. Ok. Thank you, Wendy. I appreciate it. Now, Ana, in, in your group. Do you have the, the process in your case, Anna, with your group? Um, Anna Lily, first Lily. Uh, is go in the feeding the grains, and second, the cow feedings to get the milk, and next, the milk transported for the manufacturing, and uh, later, the milk to the factory in the in in the derivation derives uh, uh -huh. for derives so for why uh, after what the process the meal the customer and finally uh, so mm -hmm. it's okay finally and the milk and the derivation refer the distribution on the final I mean, consumer Okay, thank you, Ana. Can you send it in the chat, please? Para darle un vistazo to the sentence. Thank you. Okay, let's continue with Carlos and Zaira. Were you working with somebody else? I only have you two here. Who was your other partner? Carlos, Zaira, and nobody else. No, solo ustedes dos estaban. Um, Brian. And Brian, oh, okay. Brian is not here, right? In this moment. Ahorita lo, ahorita lo acabo ah, okay. de enviar okay. al chat. Okay, can you read it, Carlos? The, the process that you have. Fish, the cow, it, it's green glass. Mm -hmm. Second, a person milks the cow. Uh, next, the meal transported the factory. Later, Mill reach the product manufacturing process. Finally, finish the product. Okay, thank you, Carlos. I appreciate it. I will talk a little bit about passive voice. Les voy a dar un poquito de passive voice porque aquí lo, lo estaban utilizando, pero ya les explico in, in one moment. Okay, Juan Carlos, Jenny, and, and Elena, can somebody read the process that you have? Eh, nosotros estábamos con Wendy. Ah, ok. Jenny, no la tengo aquí a Wendy. Ok, quizás se desconectó y por eso me desapareció del room. Ok, sorry. Lily, Jonathan y Rodrigo, ten. Hello, um, I can share. Yes, go ahead. Ok. First, the cow is grass fed. Mm -hmm. Then, the cow processes milk. After that, the meat is sent to the factory. Then, the milk is processed. And finally, um, it is transformed into the dairy products like milk, cheese, and ice cream. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Galileo, Arnoldo, and Franz, and Nelly. Can somebody read your, your process?
Can you, uh, Arnoldo? Yes. Or Aureli? Okay. Go ahead. Mm. First, the car is here in past. Second, the car is milked. The meal is shipped to the factory. The meal is processed in delivery products. Okay, Jelly. Thank you. Okay. Um, may what? I? May I read? Okay. Uh, two. May I read two the part of? Yes. Okay. Yes, of course. First, the cow eats fresh grass. Second, the cow is milked. Then, the milk is shipped, shipped to the factory. Mm -hmm. Later, the milk, the milk is processed to make dairy derivates. And finally, dairy products are, are delivered to the supermarket to be commercialized. Oh, okay. That's Thank you, Galileo. Okay, thank you everyone. You did very well, you used the words. Maybe the process or the order change a little bit depending from one group to another, that's, that's okay. I wanted you to practice the connectors, right? I will give you a little bit of passive voice. Les voy a dar un poquito de passive voice porque a veces se utiliza. Okay, es como, lo voy a tratar de hacer as simple as possible. There are two voices. We have active voice and we have passive voice. Passive voice, okay, two voices. Usually people use active voice. What is active voice? When uh, you give Emphasis, emphasis to, or when you emphasize, uh, one moment. When you emphasize the person that is doing the action, okay? Active voice is the voice that we usually use. Active voice es cuando le damos más atención al subject, al sujeto que a, a la actividad. For example, I study English. He plays soccer. They read the book. Okay? Entonces, en active voice, Utilizamos un sujeto, ¿verdad? La persona que está haciendo la activity. Ese es, pas es active voice. Passive voice is when you give more emphasis to the activity than to the person. Passive voice es al revés. La persona no es tan importante. ¿Qué es lo que pasaba en algunas sentencias que ustedes hicieron? Que se desconoce quién lo hace o no lo queremos mencionar, ¿ok? The subject is not important. El sujeto no es importante o relevante, ¿ok? So, subject is not important or relevant. Ok, ¿qué pasa cuando pasa eso? Cuando no es relevante. Vamos a empezar con la activity. ¿Verdad? Vamos a decir lo mismo, pero le vamos a cambiar el orden. I study English. Ok, passive voice. What is the activity? This. English is studied by me. Ok, entonces ahora el subject, me, pasa a último plano. ¿Qué es lo que le mencionaba a Wendy cuando hablaban de la leche? ¿Cómo sería active voice? Ok, yo podría decir, ok, the agent, agent processes the milk. Okay. ¿Por qué? Porque alguien es el sujeto, ¿verdad? El que lo hace. Pero como le querían dar vuelta porque no sabemos quién es, 
Entonces ahí se utilizaba Passive Voice. Y empezamos con la activity, que ya sería The milk is processed. Y hasta ahí lo podríamos dejar. Milk is processed. Porque el, el subject is not relevant. Ni siquiera sabemos quién es, así que lo podemos omitir. Entonces, esto es passive voice in present tense. Porque hay muchas estructuras. In present tense, usamos el verb be. Y luego, verb be is an are. And then we use uh, past. We use past participle. Ese es el tiempo del verbo que utilizamos. Así que es un poquito más complex, un poco más complejo, pero lo utilizaban un poquito, un poquito con, con sus oraciones. Tichel, ¿y cuál es la, la, uh -huh. eh, la escritura correcta de processes? Eh, ¿Con una C o doble C? Tú. 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 La S o la C. En uno lo tiene doble C, doble ah, S sorry. y en otro. Sorry. ¿Cuál no. sería? Así. Ahí. Process. Ok. Double S. Thank you. You're welcome and I'm sorry. Thank you. Corrí, corríjame porque a veces cuando estoy typing no, no lo pongo bien. So please let me know when it happens. Ok, so Carlos, aquí en el, en el text que, que enviaron, por ejemplo, dice the milk, y ahí pues vamos a agregarle is transported to the factory, porque es active voice. Uh -huh. Así que les quería dar un poquito de, de cómo funciona para it's a little bit complex, para recordarles. Ok, so... Do you have a question before I continue? Miss? Mm -hmm. Yes, Jonathan. Uh, can you share, the, can you share uh, for again the, um, the whiteboard? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so now in the book, we have one exercise. It says that you have to complete complete the paragraph and we have to use connectors, okay? Words that express um, sequence, okay? So we will start with Rodrigo. Okay, Rodrigo, what would you use first? ¿Cuál utilizaríamos? Which one can you use over here? Are you there, Rodrigo? Ah, the microphone, Rodrigo. Okay. Number one. What could you use? Afterward. Afterwards, uh, it's a different so one. You have... ah, okay. But if you want to, guys, I, I'll give you like two or three minutes. Send me your answers okay. by chat, and then we okay. check together. Les voy a dar unos dos minutos para que lo lean. Mándenme su su opinión y luego vamos a chequear together a ver si todos tenemos the same. Okay. Teacher, pero es siempre de las palabras que acabamos de estar viendo, uh -huh. de fairs, fairs y todo yes. eso. Afterward. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome.
In one minute, we continue together. Okay, so let's continue together. Okay, Rodrigo, what do you think now? Do you have the same opinion, Rodrigo, or is it different? Yes, no finish it, you know. Oh, you're not ready. Okay, no. Elena and you, what do you think about number one? Maybe we can say, first do you have to complete an analysis of the training needs yes. of your employees. That would be a good idea first. Thank you, Elena. Okay, let's continue with the next one. What do you think about the next one, Nelson? Okay, complete the analysis of the training. Okay, number two. Uh, next, uh, pardon, second. Second. Mm -hmm. That could be a possibility. Afterwards is another possibility. After, oh, after uh -huh. that. After that. Uh -huh. After that. Correct. Oh, next, también. Mm -hmm. We will use after that. It is necessary to write the content and divide it in modules or chapters. Okay, what do you think about the next one, uh, Laura? What, which one can we use? Next. Next, uh-huh, that could work. Another possibility, Anna. Number three. After. Mm -hmm. After. After. Yes, that could work. Juan Carlos, any other possibilities? Then. Then, uh -huh. there are different possibilities. I'm going to use then, but yes, yes. And the, the comma, I will add the commas here. Oscar, what do you think about the last one? You need to select the manual style, decide the extra, if the extra digital context is necessary. For me, it's finally revise the manual and uh, print it. Finally, uh -huh. okay, thank you. Wendy, do you have the same opinion? Finally. Finally, uh -huh. in the end, it's another possibility or last. So yes, you could use different possibilities. Do you have a question? Do you have a question about this exercise? ¿Cómo se puede, o sea, ¿Cómo saber cuál ocupar, dicha? Porque si me confunden, no, no encuentro el orden apropiado. Ok, uh, bye. Para first, cuando va a comenzar, empecemos con first. Pero cuando va a continuar, ¿verdad? Como para decir next, ¿verdad? Después de eso, ahí puede tener varios sinónimos, Wendy. Y le voy a poner acá la lista. Pueden ir todos estos. 
para decir después o luego. Todos esos. But to end okay. something. Okay. Si usted quiere ya completar la idea, en conclusión, uh -huh. ahí vamos con estos. Finally. Finally, or in the end, or last. Uh, okay, teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Other questions? For me? Nelson? Questions? I'm uh, sorry, Miss Andre. You say in the, in the, in the end? Uh -huh. Eso me quiere decir. Eso quiere decir finally. Yeah. In the end es como uh -huh. al final. Que es un sinónimo ah, de okay. finalmente. The final. Okay. Uh -huh. Y last es lo mismo. Como por último. Finalmente. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces son sinónimos. Okay. Ahí pueden Synonym, intercambiar. Uh -huh. Ok, Kaylee. thank you. Se puede poner junto, junto en una oración finally coma en that o then. Repeat. Por ejemplo, si, está, si, si se tiene una oración, se uh -huh. puede poner junto. Ay, ya no me olvido. Que ya. <risa> Por ejemplo, firm. Ajá. Con, con that o then o solamente first. Si puede poner first, then. Ajá, en juntos. el que estaba presentando ya ratito que tenía una comita, el último. Colocarlos al mismo tiempo. To place them at the ajá, same time. Ajá, finally, finally, then o finally that. I know that. No. Uh -huh. No, only one. Only one option. Finally, is solo finally. Yeah. Or, uh -huh. in the end, is solo in the end. Last, is solo last. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You con yes, Arnoldo? First, don't have synonym. For First. example, begin or start. One is correct. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. You can use those phrases at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put them here. At the beginning. That could be one option at the beginning. Or in the start doesn't sound very well, but at the beginning, could be one, one possibility. And maybe the other one could be first of all. First of all could be another option. Chair, mm -hmm. may I yes, say Galileo. first of all too? Uh -huh. First of all, you can use it to give more emphasis that that is the first thing to do. First of all, okay. yes. No more questions? No, Jenny? No, no questions? Okay, so let's, no let's go on then. We still have some minutes to continue practicing these, these words. Now you are going to try to be a chef and you are going to create a food recipe Van a crear una, una, se me ha ido la palabra en Spanish, pero para recipe, do you remember? No, recipe, no, recipe es cuando hacen comida y lleva toda la instrucción. Ah, la receta. receta. Eso, ok, receta, thank you. Sí. Van a hacer una receta. Okay, like a chef for a TV program. Van a ser como de los que salen enseñándole a los demás cómo hacer la comida. Okay, and we are the spectators. Y nosotros vamos a hacer los que vamos a estar ahí viendo la TV. So you are going to explain. First, you mention the ingredients. Van a mencionar todos los ingredients that you need. And next, you're going to mention the process to make the food. Okay, vamos a mencionar los ingredientes y cómo vamos a hacer ese platillo. 
use connectors. Van a usar first, then, later, and you continue. Okay? At least, at least six ideas. Okay? Cereal, pero tienen que ser six ideas. Okay? Sandwich, but six ideas. Aunque sea seis oraciones. Aunque sea algo simple, but think about the process. Okay, do you have a question? No, you're going to work with the same team. Okay, you will be working with the same team. I'm going to open the rooms. Wendy, are you here, Wendy? Hello, Wendy. I'm going to send Hello. you to, to room number three with Carlos and Zaira this oh, time. Sorry. Teacher. Hi. Hi. Son seis oraciones para una sola receta o uh -huh. son seis recetas? No, only one. Pero sea, ah, okay. sea un plato sencillo, aunque sea un plato bien sencillo, van a poner por lo menos seis pasos. Ah, okay. No porque lo fueran a hacer ustedes, pero en caso que solo me vayan a dar uno o dos pasos a algún grupo, mejor ponemos un mínimo de six, six steps. Ah, okay. Porque si es cereal, me pueden decir, first, put the milk and later the cereal. Y ya estuvo. Y quiero más de eso. Así que six, six steps. And other questions? No. 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 Okay. I'm going to read your your paragraph, Rodrigo, and I will give you feedback about the Saturday paragraph. Okay. Uh, eh, se lo, se lo envié, sí. Ajá. Okay. Ya lo leí, eh, Rodrigo. Lo que veo que le hace falta acá es el subject, el subject de la oración, ah, okay. porque puso first okay. in the morning to go to work. Entonces, ah. hay que ponerle I go, I go to work. Okay. At the end of the morning, I go home. I go home. So uh, and at night, okay. 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 I go out to dinner okay. somewhere near my house. Solo ese, ese feedback, Rodrigo. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, see you in, in one moment. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Ajá. Yo estoy a paso por ahí. Hi, guys. A la, a la teacher vamos a llevar. ¿A dónde me van a llevar a comer? A comer. Sí. Mm, Nunca he ido. Nunca he ido ahí. Y he escuchado buenos comentarios de ahí. De verdad. Sí. What do they sell? Ah. ¿Qué, ¿Qué venden? ¿Qué tipo de comidas? Hamburguesas. Ah, pizza. Es fácil. Es artesanal. Ajá, es artesanal. ¿Y dónde está? Where is it located? En Merlioc. En Merlioc. Ah, Hay okay. una también en el volcán. Ah, en el volcán. Uh -huh. también. Y está bonito el del volcán. Sí. Sí, tiene bonita vista. Ah, ok. Vamos a ver bueno, si vamos si un quiere, día. Pide, pide de, a los reyes magos que la lleven. <ríe> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stay here one moment. If you need me, let me know. Okay, I will be with you just one moment. 
Bueno, first. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? The ingredient. Como es como una receta. Sorry to interrupt. Juan Carlos, did you Mande. send your paragraph? The Saturday routine paragraph. Eh, no, en ese momento no, tenía una right. llamada, teacher. Ah, no. ok, sí. Because I was looking for it, but Perdón. I don't see it right. Y Jenny, si lo veo acá, es el que leyó, ¿verdad, Jenny? Sí. Ajá. Okay. Sí, solo le agregué ahí un poquito. Ok. And remember, you need one part just for the ingredients. En una parte van solo los ingredients y luego ya van los steps. Así que ahí mencionan ah, okay. qué, qué necesitan. What you need to, to make the lasagna. Ok, so I will go. I will go, but in, in one moment, I'll come back. Okay, see you. Okay, teachers. Ahí, ¿cómo se llama? Es de poner también... Primero los ingredientes, digamos. Ingredient. Ingredient. La masa, tomate, para pasta de, de la pizza. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mozzarella, y acá entonces primero aquí cambiaríamos a first eh, the wash, ¿cómo sería? Como the wash, the, bueno, ya se sabe que tenemos que lavarnos las manos, ¿verdad? pero the wash, hang, handling, hang, handling, ¿cómo es? You have handling. No lo puede copiar y pegar del mensaje. Y. Handling era, vea. Handling. Ajá, lavado de manos, vea. Y sí. como es inmediato, se toma la... Ah, handle. En... Sorry, Laura, sorry to interrupt. What do you want to say? ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir ahí? Eh, que nos vamos a... Primero nos vamos a lavar las manos y lavar las verduras. Ah, <laughs> Los okay. tomates. Entonces, handle. first, wash your hands. And ah. vegetables. Es que la palabra handle era lo del otro que estábamos viendo. Hendo. Hendo, <ríe> Sanitizar ajá. y todo eso. Ajá, eso ah. era otro. Entonces así, lavado de mano. And, and, and veggies. Okay. Está también la palabra veggies. Veggies es otra manera de llamarle a los vegetales. Veggies, es como, como la manera informal. Como, yeah. veggies. como así. Ahí lo en el Con la otra ahí. Con la otra I, eh. Y latina. Ah. Y latina. Ajá, ah, sí. Y después es vamos el, a poner after. Laura, hace falta es veggies. Oh, and sorry to interrupt. Ana, I was reading your, your paragraph. Okay, it's well Big, done. Big Quizás lo único que le puedo decir es que como en dos oraciones hacía falta el subject, Ana. Donde ah, dice, so... I start at 7. Ah, y como ahí es de, ah, hay que poner from 7 a.m. to mid uh, to noon, 12, 12 o'clock. Y luego, then And in the supermarket, ajá, uh -huh, I buy, sin la S, solo I buy food. Ah, porque okay. la S es para tercera persona. Ok. Y later, I share, no sé si quiere como... Como comparto tiempo. Es, le falta ahí. Yes. Perdón, teacher. Es de compartir tiempo, la última oración. Yes, yes. Ah, bye. Ahí yes. ponga spend time. I spend And... time with my family. Ok. Ajá, solo esos comments. Okay. Y algo acá, aquí no necesitan poner un sujeto. Si están dando un comando, una orden, una instrucción, ahí no ponemos, no yes. ponemos sujeto, ¿verdad? Solo Wash your hands, eh, do this, porque están dando una orden. Cuando es una orden, no necesita sujeto. Ahora, si quieren decirlo como, you wash your hands, you, podrían, pero aquí is not necessary. Cuando ustedes dan una instrucción, no necesita eso. Ok. Uh, do you need anything before I leave? No sé si tienen algún comment, or if you need help. Ah, solo mm. teacher el procedimiento por ejemplo ese lavado de manos de los utensilios tendría que ir aparte o 
junto en estas oraciones? Ah, puede ir en el, no, sorry. How, repeat, please. El eh, procedimiento. Los... Sí, yes. Ajá, va a ir en el mismo. Solo que pongan primero ingredients y pone, ¿verdad? Ahí veo que ya están todos. Eh, y luego uh -huh. ya en preparation ya ponen ahí las sentences. Pueden poner one, two, three, four, five, six y cada sentence con su connector, ¿verdad? Next, okay. first, okay. etc. Okay. okay. All right, you can continue. I'll be here in case you need. Thank you. Bueno. <risa> eh, Espérame decir... que la palabra bella y ya no la... No sé cómo está escrito, cómo me decía. Eh, eso no es, la de falta. La, la S. No, después de la I, E, S. Así. ¿Cómo estamos haciendo el sándwich? <risa> Hello, ¿cómo van bien, estos chefs por acá? How are you doing? Se va a antojar, teacher. <risa> el, okay. el orden, se nos olvida. Estamos metiendo. Poniendo cosas que no que van en, en otro orden. Hemos hecho un sándwich de un sándwich. Un sándwich. Okay. La... ok, but you haven't finished yet. Todavía no, no han terminado, ¿verdad? O... En el último creo que okay. iríamos, me... ¿verdad? Ya el pan. Sí. Ok, me envían ahí un text. Entonces, si terminan antes que, que les mande ahí la invitation to go back. Ay, Do you need help? Un desorden aquí. Bueno, lo escribimos entonces. Okay. No me va a entender. ¿sí? Ahí escogen a un representante. O oh, una representante. Okay. And you can read the, the info. Ok, como que fuera para un TV show, guys. Así que introducen, oh. el, introducen ahí la comida como... Como welcome to y luego mencionan el canal y ahora vamos a cocinar. Sandwich, oh. a delicious chicken sandwich, y nos venden ahí la, la idea. <risa> okay, what? ok, all right. Y, sorry, no, just a tener one... figuras no vamos a poner, no. No, it's Today not necessary. Today prepare no, no así, a delicious sandwich. Ajá, ajá, sí. hay que venderlo. Ok. okay. <risa> And your paragraph, mm -hmm. Carlos, the one you sent by WhatsApp, it is correct. I can see the, the sentences and I like the, uh -huh. the complex, the complicity of the sentences. Me gusta que están complejas, ¿verdad? Utilizando would like, eh, trainings y varias estructuras. It is correct. Eh, just in the last part, maybe the only thing, a veces hasta a mí se me escapa, the comas. First comma uh, and then you, oh. you put them. But they look good, Carlos. The, the paragraph looks good. Okay, Thank everyone. You. I'm going to let you let you continue. In a few minutes, we will close the rooms para que vayan ahí tratando de finalizar. Okay, see you. Okay. Una diapositiva ahorita <coughs> y está abierto ya. Ya. Yeah, uh, sounds, sounds good, Francis. Sí, <laughs> prepara la diapositiva. <laughs> Yo el archivo, yo la preparo y ustedes lo leen. Ok. <laughs> okay. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome. Have you finished? We're, yes, ready. We're ready. Okay. We think. Only, only add a, a diapositiva. Ok. Don't worry, we will That's return me. in this moment, so I think there's no there's no time for you to, to do it, but thank you. Thank you for trying to, to make it look better. And Just one, one change, Galileo. Recipe, Recipe. It's, it's like the one you see it there. Okay, so remember it's like a TV show. So introduce your food, like if you were in the TV show, like good morning everyone, welcome to, to Canal 4. Uh, today we're going to prepare a delicious chicken in mushroom cream, blah, 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 and then you, You tell us the ingredients and the recipe. Okay, so I will see you in, in one moment. And I will close the rooms now, okay? But I'll see you there. Bye-bye. Okay.
Okay, so it's time to share your delicious meals with your auditorium or your spectators. So remember that it's a TV show. So introduce the food, okay, as if you were in the TV program. Okay, so is there a volunteer who would like to go first? Galileo, el voluntario. <laughs> okay. Or oh, Wendy. So, uh, I so don't Eli. have the introduction yet. <laughs> so Ellie, Galileo, and Jonathan. We we have we can hear you now. We listen to you. Okay. Arnoldo is is better to present to be a manager. <laughs> Arnoldo? Okay. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, please go ahead. Like a TV okay. show. Good like evening. A TV show. Okay. <laughs> Three to one. Good evening, everyone. This is a TV show in cooking with the three Musketeers. <laughs> and tonight we prepare a chicken and mushroom cream. And the ingredients, this is in the list. And first, salt the chicken. And next, season the chicken afterwards. Fry the chicken about 10 minutes. Later, mix the cream with the chicken soup. Then, add the mushroom and season it again. And finally, wait for five minutes and enjoy our meal with a delicious fries. Thanks for okay. watching. See you later. Very good. Okay, thank you, Arnoldo, Eli, and Galileo. Good job. Thank you for your delicious idea to prepare chicken with, with mushrooms, right? Yeah, I like that one. It's one of my favorites. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, Eli, choose the next, the next theme. Mention one of your mm -hmm. class. Juan Carlos. Juan, Juan Carlos, Carlos and his team. Okay, Juan Carlos and okay. his team will continue. And that is Elen well, Elena and Jenny, right? Jenny. Jenny tiene la receta. Yo la voy a cocinar ahorita. Ah, okay. Mejor así. Visual. Yeah. It says steps in this moment. I think you are sharing the wrong, the wrong window, Jenny. You're sharing the translator in this moment. All right, no. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. Juan Carlos. I'm here. Okay, Juan Carlos. Remember, it's a TV show. We're watching okay. your, your TV program. Today, is cooking uh, lasagna with chicken, okay? My ingredients, dog, chicken, tomatoes, cheese, oil, and salt. And you prepare all of these steps. First, boil the dog. Second, boil and shred the chicken. And next, prepare sauce with tomatoes. Then prepare the oven, 180 degrees, please. Later, put the field cape, the dog, then put the cape of the chicken in the cheese. Repeat twice the process and put enough sauce. Uh, and finally, put in the oven and enjoy your meal. Thanks. Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos and Jenny. Good job. 
Maybe uh, just some little changes in the spelling. Quizás solo algunos cambios en, en la, el spelling, como se escribe. Algunas palabras, but besides that, uh -huh, I understand the process and the ingredients. So thank you, Juan Carlos and Jenny. So Jenny, who continues? Who continues? We have, we still have Jonathan, Sim, uh, Laura, Sim. Saida? Saida, Saida, Wendy, Carlos. Aha, uh aha, -huh. uh -huh, correct. <laughs> Welcome, Master Chef presents the baguette sandwich. <laughs> First, cut the bread. Second, a, a plain mayonnaise. Next, put ham. Afterwards, cheese. Put cheese. Then put lettuce. Then put tomatoes sliced. After onion sliced, put onion sliced. After that, put cucumber slice. And finally, the other slice of bread. Thank you for your thank you. So it was master chair, Wendy. Uh-huh. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for your your participation. You did very well. And um, Wendy, mayonesa is mayonnaise. That is the, the way we say it, mayonnaise. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Mayonnaise. Okay, <laughs> then we have two more teams. Okay, Carlos, choose. Jonathan's team or Laura's team? Who goes next? Laura's team. Laura. Okay, Laura, Oscar, <laughs> Anna, and Nelson, right? Nelson was working with you too. In the meantime, mientras esperamos, eh, solo un pequeño comment, un pronunciation comment. Hay una palabra que suena un poco diferente, the intonation is ingredients. Esa es la, la manera correcta de decirla, ingredients. ¿Verdad? Porque creo que la otra es como in, ingredients. Pero la entonación cambia un poquito, es ingredients. Ok, so, mmm, okay, yummy. Pizza. Ok, Laura. Pizza. Please continue. Okay. Eh, Nelson. Ana ok. Star. <laughs> ok. Ok. Preparen pizza. Preparing pizza is a recipe of says difficult and ready in the above 15 menu, uh, 15 menu mm. ingredients, ingredients. Mm, here's a pizza mass, a tomato pasta for pizza, mozzarella, Pepperoni, grated sheets, salami, or oregano, no, pero como se dice. Oregano. Ok. Preparation. First, wash his hand, hand and veggie. Second, on the mask, we spread a layer of tomato paste with the help of a knife. Later, we could 20 slices of pepperoni and uniformly, uniformly distribute. After war, we add a few piece, 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 no, piece, piece, piece of salami. Pieces? By la, pieza, pieza, pieces, 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 pieces,
Last week, sprinkling great cheese and oregano to our tasty. Uy, se, la apagué. Se fue. <laughs> se fue la imagen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, teacher. Technical <laughs> problems. Sorry. In the, sí. in the show. Error de dedo. Yo que Error Ana, de dedo. Laura, ¿qué va a hacer en el show? Well, well, finally. Well, se fue la luz. Finally, eh, we bake it for 10 <laughs> to eh, 15 minutes and eh, 100, 100 100 degrees. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Thank you very much okay. for your participation. You did very well, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> we, con oh, we will continue with the next team tomorrow. Okay, we are missing one team, but we will do it tomorrow, Jonathan, because of the time. So Jonathan, Rodrigo, and Lily, we will do it to tomorrow. Let me just take notes. I'm going to take the, the attendance in this moment. And then I'm going to stay with Arnoldo. Okay. All right. So let's begin. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Brian, Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jose. Okay. Jose Arnoldo. I'm here, teacher. Jose Galileo. I'm here, ma. Jose Jonathan. Here. Jose Rodrigo. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos. Present. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. Okay. María Concepción. María Elena. Mayra Present. Moreno. Okay, thank you. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here. Okay, Omar Francisco. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. And Jenny Zuleina. Okay, thank you. Before you go. Same present. Okay, before you go, just one comment. No sé si me oyen bien, si es mi internet. Que, Los veo así como frisados. Do you hear me? ¿Sí me escuchan? Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Really. yes, teacher. Ok, thank you. So just one comment. Estaba, estaba viendo que había un error que me comentó Wendy en una de las tareas. Ya lo reporté. Solo hay cinco tareas para unit number two. Esta, esta unidad es un poco más larga. Solo les quería decir de que si no han visto ese tema, Eh, no lo hagan todavía porque hay unos temas que no hemos visto. Solo son cinco tareas y son dos semanas. Así que hay algunos que, que todavía no hemos visto esos temas. Va a haber uno de Wood, no lo hemos visto todavía. Así que eso les quería comentar. No son diez tareas de esta unidad, son siempre cinco. Pero si no lo hemos visto, no lo completen aún porque no lo hemos visto aún. Okay, so just that comment about the unit number two, section two in your in your platform. Okay, but you're free to go. Thank you for coming to the class okay. and have a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. bye. Good, good night, night, teacher. Good night. 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 I'm going to help you, Elena. Okay. Hi, Arnoldo. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. How was the funeral? I, Very difficult, I imagine, I, right? I'm sad, but... Uh, yes. This is a, a malapractice. The doctor is a guilty ah. of, the death of the baby. Oh, it was a baby. The, the wife, the wife of my of my friend, mm -hmm. she said that, that the doctor that he cannot uh, uh, 
tener, va a tener su, su, su bebé normalmente. Y she, ah, ella es she had to perform like corta a... De, corta de, de, de cadera. Entonces, ella le dijo al, al, al doctor que le hiciera cesárea y el doctor no quiso hasta three hours more eh, when he had in, in, in for labor. Eh, she, the doctor say, okay, the cesárea is this is this moment, but the but the child um, is a a crab in the, in the stomach, and he eat and don't don't resist and mm -hmm. die two hours before he born. Oh wow. This is uh -huh. so very they sad. must feel devastated. I I think I can imagine the yes. pain. Because can you imagine they were very happy but to receive the baby and then having that for him for he yes for he is the second the second the child, second time but for she is the first ah. but for the she is the first she is a second a second married. Ah, but okay. he is a, a very a, a very sad, but the two people are very strong. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud about you, for, but he is a very- About very the strong. attitude, yes, because it is yes, very difficult. Tonight, tonight she is on hospital. She is the El Alta this this day. She is going uh, to be allowed to to go back home. Yes, but she is in 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 the entierro. Yes, in the cemetery. entierro. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. But yes, she is very they are very, very, very strong. I, I know, uh, no sé cómo yo estaría en este momento. Mm -hmm. Yes, solo de <laughs> pensarlo a mí me, me eriza la piel. Siento que ha de ser horrible, horrible. No tengo hijos, pero me imagino que ha de ser muy feo, muy, muy feo. Y ya así en el, ya por, por salir, ¿verdad? En el parto. Así que sí, pobrecitos, pobrecitos los dos. Sí. Pero ni ya. modo, ¿verdad? Ya, muy ya no se puede revivir ahorita. Hay cosas de revivir. Uh -huh. Hay ya, dolores no, que sufrir. Él, yo, yo no. Ajá, él me dice, yo no espero que me den dinero, yo no espero que me den nada, no, yo solo espero que le retiren la licencia, porque ayer que estuvimos conversando en la vela, un mes atrás, a una amiga, amiga de una ex compañera de, del trabajo, este, nos dimos cuenta que una amiga, la misma doctora, le hizo la misma mala praxis justamente un año, un mes atrás. Mm -hmm. Y como me dice, yo no espero, yo no espero que me devuelvan nada. No, el, el dinero o lo que me vienen a dar no me devolverá a mí, o yo lo dolor a, la, a, a más gente. Mm -hmm. Así que ahí está. Yes, Okay, and well, changing the subject, how could I help you today, Arnold? What would you like to practice tonight? Maybe um, I need uh, a practice or, or that you say me what is my, my potential. For, for me, the English is, is very good. I, I like learning English. I try to to be here for every day and I try to learn and, and practice. And I I have a goal. Mm -hmm. and my goal is, is percent and maybe try to work in a, a world that requires I speak English. And I need to know what is my, more, my potential and if I have um, an opportunity that, that be aware. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know what you think about me. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you are doing very well based on your on your current module, right? Because we have different modules. So I think that you're doing very well, Arnoldo. Maybe what you need to improve is grammar, like the, um, I understand what you say, but maybe sometimes we need to add little things like prepositions or connectors. Maybe that is what you need, more vocabulary. But I think, I think you're doing well. In some time, of course, you could apply. You could apply to work in another place that requires English because I feel you understand a lot when I explain in English and you know a lot of words. So what you need is to practice more to fix those grammatical mistakes, right? That is what we need to improve. But you're doing very well, Arnoldo, in the intermediate level. And there are still other things to learn. With practice and practice, you're going to fix the grammatical mistakes. But that is, that is what I, I in feel about your level, your English level. I have this problem about 10, min, 10 years ago or, or more. I, I live, uh, I mm -hmm. live with, uh, for two years with many people uh, from USA mm -hmm. or United Kingdom. And I try to, to learn with, with they, but I have one, one big problem. I understand, I can read, I can, I can write. Uh, I consider that I have a very good grammar. I write very, very good. I understand the, the 95% of the time. And I read, when I read, I understand. But my big problem is that I don't, speak when I when it's my 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 time for for the speak I have a problem in in a create a sentence or or sustain a, a, a big conversation for a long time uh, a big conversation is easy for me but but uh, most difficult for me. Uh -huh. Yes, I think that you, do you have someone you can practice with like besides in the classes? Do you have someone you can talk to in English? Do you hear What? me? Do you have, or do you know someone yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can, you can speak English with besides the class? I think what you need is practice. Practice, because that is what is going to make you I, speak more. Uh, I try to, I try uh -huh. to, to practice a, um, when I oigo, hear, listen, hear, uh, listen songs, and I try to, to, to follow the, the lyrics. And this is a, a skill that uh, helped me so much. And I try to practice along and mm -hmm. correct my, my pronunciation, my, my knowledge. I, I try to, to learn some new words every day. Mm -hmm. I try to 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 search and find new words. And when I listen a word that is different for me, I try to to search in Google or a translator or a, a dictionary. Yes. And my daughter. 
my daughter helped me that she is a, a student uh, of English in this moment for a for a Saul Montoya teacher. And she she is a, a very interesting for for net English too. And the two uh, help us uh, mm -hmm. one by one. Okay. Yes, I can. I can see that you are doing everything, everything that is possible, everything that is in your hands to to do it. So it it takes patience. You have to be patient, Arnoldo, because everything you're doing is what you have to do. But then it will take some time. It will take some time to to perfectionate to perfectionate your your English. Okay. But for example, one comment. When you use prepositions with, on, or, we need to use object pronouns. Like with her, you need to use those words. We don't use the subject like with she. We have to use with her, or I try to practice with him. So when you use prepositions, after prepositions, use those ones him her me us them those are the ones we need after preposition so little mistakes like those ones you can fix them but it takes it takes some time right and and you have to memorize it too that is difficult sometimes because sometimes we know but we forget when we are speaking <laughs> So you need you need to to continue. Everything you're doing is going to help you practice with your daughter. And when it's possible for me, I'm going to give you feedback. Like I'm going to tell you, okay, Arnoldo, fix this, change this, and everything. All those all those like changes or adjustments, little by little, are going to perfectionate your English because you're not going to make okay. the same mistake over and over again. But yes, Thanks. I try to, little little. I, I promise, I promise to try to fix every mistake <laughs> and, and change uh, a little one by one. And okay, Arnoldo, sounds I say, good. I, I, say, I, say mm -hmm. the I say at the beginning, I have, I have, a, I have a goal Mm -hmm. I hope that this goal is is finished when the when the what Course? is the next in the in the inter, inter, intermediate intermediate um, principal intermediate um, ah basic intermediate the advanced. Uh, when the advanced uh, modules finish, I, mm -hmm. I am a bilingual person. Yes, that is the goal. Continue like that. Be patient. Continue working on your English and you're going to make it. You still have like, like one more year to study, to study one more year. So it's in one year you're going to learn more, more things. And I'm going to remind you, when okay. I see a mistake, I will tell you, Arnoldo, that, change that. And I'm going to do it more to help you, to help you more when you speak. Okay, I will, I will tell you about that. <laughs> All right, Arnoldo. So I think we will, we will stop our conversation okay. here, but continue, okay? Don't give up. English takes time to be learned. It takes time, but it's possible. Many people have done it, you can do it too, okay? okay? So continue, continue like that. Okay, Arnoldo, goodbye, sweet Thank dreams, you. and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, see you. Goodbye.